We are back for yet another episode of Mall Hall. It is sickening how amazing we look. There were so many <laughs> options. Help me. But she knows it was good. Hey guys, welcome to Clever Stack. We are back for yet another episode of Mall Hall. And today we are going to the streets, <laughs> going into the stores and shopping online to determine which is better at, wait for it, Zara. This is a huge thanks to Terry Wheeler. Thank you, Terry, for suggesting we do Zara because we are here for it. This is an amazing idea. I love this idea. So here's how mall haul works. Drew and I will shop Zara both online and in store to determine which overall experience is better. But first, there are some factors that we need to assess to determine which is easier. First is diversity. And what we mean by that is like, what are the options that we have? Is it different online versus on store? Are there more options online? Are there more options in store? Prices. Is one experience somehow cheaper? Maybe that's due to sales, or maybe that means that in-store they have more options available from past collections, or online, that's where they put all their sales stuff. Mm -hmm. We gotta figure these things out. Also, sizes. Sometimes it's harder to find your size if you're in person, or maybe it's easier to find your size if it's in person. And then ease, all right? Is Which is the easier option? Which is better to navigate? Mm -hmm. That means like the way a website is set up in terms of categories and tabs, or in-store is everything just a hot mess. <laughs> How do you people live like this? We are not putting a time limit on this. We are going to let our fingers do what they're gonna do right. when we're shopping online. We're gonna let our feet do what they do in person. Mm -hmm. And then, once we are done shopping, we will see which was faster. So each of us need to shop for two outfits. And we're gonna start with online, and we need four pieces, a head to toe look. Ooh. Yeah, so basically four items minimum. Mm -hmm. But say for example, I just have the best look and I buy six items online, I then have to buy the same amount of items in store. I still feel like I'm gonna like shopping online better. I feel like they have more of my style stuff. In store, mm -mm. they just don't have, they don't have the same things as they have online. They are different, but I'm gonna enjoy in person better. I just know. I just know. I made up my mind. I hate the online Zara website. I will say it is hard to navigate, but it is weird. They do weird scrolly things. And okay, the photos are gorgeous, but this gorgeous. looks like a portfolio <laughs> yeah. and not a, like what am I shopping for? I know, and you if know? you click on something, then it, then it will show you more actual pictures of it, but everything is shot like, like you said. Portfolio. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> like it's all high fashion. It's almost like they're doing too much. I can't figure it out. I just already am seeing things that I really like that I know for a fact is not gonna be at the store. Where, right. See, how did you get to the part that looks like retail? Oh, I just uh, clicked fall must haves. Okay. Would you ever see this type of thing in store? No, 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 no. They're like very street style um, streetwear that just doesn't exist in the store and I don't understand mm -hmm. why. The in store, they always have, it's very like there's a corporate section yes. and then there's like- A curtain section. A curtain section and then elegant dinner lady. <laughs> elegant dinner lady. Yeah. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Oh, so that's the difference. When you're trying to scroll different photos of one item, you scroll up, not to the side. Yes, if that's you scroll to the from. side, it switches items. Mm -hmm. It's very irritating. I could see myself having a bad day and giving up on this website. That's where I'm at. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so far, I'm just like, everything I'm seeing on this website makes me really excited. Like I'm, I'm right now I'm flagging a bunch of stuff, adding a bunch of stuff. I feel like I'm gonna have a really good time making this outfit, but I also need to remember to keep the items to a minimum because yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be able to achieve this in store. Yeah, you I mean, know? no, I disagree. I'm definitely gonna be able to achieve this in store. It's gonna be way easier in store. This is, this is a lot to navigate. Also, you walk in, you can assess the whole do my little Terminator scan. You know what? I don't agree. <laughs> Okay, we have gotten all of our online items. It is time to take to the streets. I'm nervous. Don't call me a hater, you guys. I know I'm gonna hate a lot, but you know what? Support me. I support you. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Let's go to the mall, everybody. Okay. 
Okie dokie, so you are looking at our in-store Zara looks. Listen, we had a time. We did. There were so many <laughs> options and genres <laughs> and colors and textures. It was truly an experience. So let me break down my in-store look. I have this cute AF blazer. I yes. cannot get over it. The structure, the buttons, the hound's tooth is just Delicious. It's like Gossip Girl, but like modern working. It's like Gossip Girl becoming a CEO later on in life. Like slash L Woods. Yeah, because it's like preppy, but it's so sophisticated. It's chic. Oh, you fancy. And then I got this green skirt, and let me tell you about the skirt, because they didn't have my size. So I got it extra small, and Ugh. it's, you know, I'm just making it work. You just gotta. That color, though. The color is so good. Okay, so the top, I'm 1000% sure that I got the same top that Sinead's wearing, mm -hmm. but I think they just forgot to put it in the bag. But luckily I had a turtleneck crop top in my bag already, so I just put that on. I don't think I would want to wear a crop top though with this look. I think I would have preferred for it to be a little bit longer like yours is, mm -hmm. but it works. You still get the illusion. Yeah. And then I got this really cute purse. And the reason why I got the pink purse is because I actually wanted pink shoes yes. that were this color that were so cute. So cute. But that was devastating. My size. Mm -hmm. And I'm not surprised I didn't have my size because I don't, some stores just don't carry 11s. In store you mean? In store. Yeah. yeah. So I got the pink purse instead and I'm not mad at it. It's a look. I love this outfit. I love all the colors of this and you are right. They had a ton of options. I remember like everything I said before we went to the mall. Mm -hmm. I was like, in stores, awful and Zara. <laughs> I love shopping online because I can always get what I want. And then I walked in and I was like, damn, the entire website is here and more. I can admit when I'm wrong. I opted for this dark like forest green blazer, which I love. I wish it was a slightly over, more oversized just to like completely contrast what I paired underneath. But I still love this blazer. It's absolutely like the most amazing color. I don't have so any good. color like it. I have a lot of olive and like a lot of that type of green, mm -hmm. not this. And then I got this shirt in yet another color. It's a good piece to have. It is. So I got the matching shorts as well. And then I got these boots. I fell in love with these shoes also in the store. Boots are dope. And then I got this little gray green bag. It's kind of like a sage mixed with the gray, mm -hmm. but it's a cool color. I love the contrast with the dark green. Yes, it's nice. Yeah. And I usually, if I'm gonna do like the same color, I will go for a more monochromatic, not different shades or different like temperatures of a color. But for some reason, it's just like really works. No, I'm happy that you went with a different hue. It works. You look good. So overall, I think shopping in store at Zara was great. I don't know if it was just like something in the water that day. The water was purified. It was fun. We were in there for an hour and a half. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, and it didn't feel like we were there like struggling. We've no. definitely done this before, like at H&M and been like, yeah. help me right. to each other. This time, it was like a blast. It was smooth sailing. We were, I think we were just genuinely having fun. Everything mm -hmm. was organized. If I were going to rate this experience in person and the outfit, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a four and a half. Is it because of your shoes? It's because, no, not because of my, sh well, oh, yeah. Yeah, see, I'm gonna give it a mm, four. That doesn't deserve the half because yeah, I'm sorry, that wasn't even what up. was doing it. This is the shoes, the fact that they forgot my top and they didn't have my size in the skirt. Yeah. But overall, it was a good experience. Four is still a solid rating. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four as well. There wasn't a lot of accessories and I think that to me was like, it's Zara, usually they have some stuff. Yeah. But they at least have like hair clips or like yeah. sunglasses or hair accessories. And mm -hmm. this time they literally had like nothing. It was slim pickings. And even the purses, they didn't have a lot. They had a lot of purses online. Sinead's trying to talk crap about the in-store experience, but she knows it was good. I just gave it a four, okay? <laughs> Come on, give me some credit. Okay, I love us right now so much. We're disgusting. <laughs> like, this is so good. Yeah, it is sickening how amazing <laughs> we look. Can we just, Sinead, you look like the Bratz doll that I still want. And honestly, uh -huh. it's a whole vibe. It's a whole look. I'm, I'm obsessed with everything. It's so um, good. And the biggest winner of this entire outfit are these freaking shoes. The shoes? It's not just a regular platform. No. It's a very specific platform. No, it's like almost like Angular. 70s esque, yeah. but like not even 70s because it's so modern or futuristic so looking at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. So I have the same exact skirt that you had, the green one, but this is black. See, this is, looks better because the length is even better. We, it doesn't fit very well, which is a bummer, but I do agree with you. I like the length of this just because it's freezing outside. Mm -hmm. So it just makes sense. And then I got this high neck mock t-shirt. Zara's great for basics. They have a lot of really good basics. And then I got this 
green bag Obsessed. to go with this amazing puffer jacket. Wait. First of all, I am aware that it's pink. I made a promise to myself that in the wintertime I would try to explore brighter colors. I okay? told you pink is a very good color on you. And also, you're lucky or just ballsy to wear a white mock neck because if I did that, it would be brown completely. Oh, well, makeup. you should see how I put it on. <laughs> Okay, let me break it down. First of all, I have to, the, the, sh the, um, the Sinead, <laughs> the sunglasses are from Sinead, but after I put it all together, I couldn't break the rules by getting an extra piece. So I was like, I need sunglasses. And so Sinead lent me these. So this romper is probably like the coolest romper that I've ever put on in my life. Yeah, it looks like it's a dress. It's yeah. a romper and it, the way you put it on, it's like you put the shorts on first and then you put like the blazer dress part oh, on. Oh, whoa! Uh -huh. See, it's like disconnected, oh but my God, it's I not. Love that. That. The gloves are everything. It's I amazing. love the fact that they're half gloves. Yeah, they're cool. so freaking cute. I yeah. feel like Carrie Bradshaw. These are authentic <laughs> patent leather. And then I got these like little strappy clear heels. I like the shoes, mm -hmm. but I would have preferred a black boot. This could definitely be a summer type of outfit, mm -hmm. but it could also be winter if you were wearing like like a big boot and then maybe <laughs> her face. <laughs> what am I doing next? <laughs> yeah, like you're wearing like a big boot and you have maybe like a huge oversized bag with it. I was it. probably gonna say a, fl a white fluffy dog. I will say, and we've said this before, Zara's website is very difficult to navigate. Yeah. Kudos to whoever designed it because it's beautiful. But to shop, it's just... It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. <laughs> I hate shopping on Zara's website and it took me so long because uh -huh. once you figure out how to navigate it, for sure be on a desktop. Don't try to do it on your Don't phone. Don't do it on your phone. The back button takes you back like four pages. Oh my God, do not. It will just stress you out. Mm -hmm. But I got there. I found pieces eventually. At least I could find shoes. It's kind of like each in-store and online have hits and misses. Totally. I mean, for the in-store, we gave it like a four. You know, that's a big number yeah. already. That's high. Online, mm -hmm. I would give it a five if it wasn't for... How laughable, <laughs> how laughable navigate. it is yeah. trying to navigate that site. Mm. It, I don't think it was designed for shopping. <laughs> I mean, who designed this thing? So for <laughs> that reason, I would, I'd give it a four too, but I would have given online a five just because having way more options for accessories, shoes, bags, jewelry as well, yeah. online is a big thing for me. I'm going to give online a four. So basically we're tied for both. We're tied. Four is a good, that's a high rating. It's huge, it's a yeah. huge rating. For me personally, I'm not gonna just walk past a czar and go, I'll just look online later. I will be definitely go more willing to go inside. Go inside, wow. 